there we go jewel encrusted so what we could do now is actually color the design so we've got our swatches over here we can also make our own swatches so I really love coral at the moment it's quite a popular color for this summer so what we can do is select the object that we want to color so this is the skirt and then we select the swatch now that's a little bit dark so I want to do a little bit lighter so if we hit color see I can actually make it a little bit lighter here so it's quite nice and when you make a new color swatch what you can do is grab this color swatch and drop it into your swatches so I can refer back to it then I'm going to select this now with our Diamante so what we could do is actually create a color ourselves so got the Pantone so now what I'm going to do is use these um, cyan magenta yellow to actually make silvery color or gray and we could do lots of different colors Okay, so what we're going to do now is you can select a few at a time. So if you hold down the shift key, so I'm just selecting random um, beads at the moment, and then we're going to select a color. So now I can select and that's giving like a mottly effect. So if we zoom back out, you can see how that looks quite nice now. It actually looks like it's Stamontes or stones. Now, pretty much right. So I've just designed an evening dress. So what I might like, like in your collection, you need to think what are your key shapes? What are your key shapes that suit your target market and their body shapes? So for me, this is probably a great um, shape that will, you know, look good on a size 8, look good on a size 12. So it doesn't matter what uh, size they are, it's going to be quite flattering. So this could be our evening wear shape, but I may take this same shape and use it um, in the day wear collection as well. So what I could do is actually select all of these um, Diamantes. So use the shift key again to deselect a shape that you don't want. And we want to delete that. So just delete that. Because this will be used in the day wear. Now let's import a fabric. So you go file, place, because you'll place a picture basically. 
Now let's quite like this floral here place zoom back out so here we have a floral design so let's just make it a little bit smaller and I'll show you how to clip something in here so I want to make a duplicate of this pattern Actually, see how I've just put that into the swatches and it's letting me now select there we go that was quite easy so we've got a brand new dress in the day wear so what we might like to do um, I'm actually thinking it would be really nice to pick up this pinky coral color and actually have like a bow or something like that so let's draw a bow now what you can also do see I've just drawn like the ribbon I guess dropping down is you can go con command C or control C and then command V which is paste so I've just copied and pasted the same object now this is really cool what you can do is something called reflect so so what I've done is selected that hit the control key you go transform reflect what we're going to do is 90 degrees and see how it's just um, made exactly the same shape but reflected it so there's my two little bows and we'll do the center be like a tie and so I'm selecting all of this now and then I want to go command G or control G and we've just grouped this together so we'll do a little bow there oops and it didn't have an outline outline so let's give it an outline so you can see it a little bit better and there you go now if you wanted to you can play around the great thing about Illustrator is you can play around with this so if you actually wanted it um, in a pinky color you can change it just play around with something that's going to suit And that if you didn't like the bow in that place you can put it um, in the center if you wanted to you could actually make this whole panel here the contrast color like that you can make the bow smaller or larger and see I, I haven't actually drawn the flounce of the bow but if you wanted to you could actually draw it So again, select this, hold down the control key, we go transform, reflect, we want to reflect at 90 degrees, press OK. Now the, <laughs> what I did is I didn't remember to copy. So if you go back, we just go control C, control V, so copy and paste. Now press the control key again, transform, reflect, 90 degrees, here we go. Now what we want to do is move this to the front so we go control arrange bring to front move this in a little bit closer and 
And then what you might like to do is add a little bit of detail to it. So we'll just draw some lines. Now the lines, I tried to sort of the smaller lines, um, which are not the outlines, I try and make it um, like a little bit thinner because it's not a major detail point. It just makes your designs look a little bit better. So you have it quite nice. <laughs>